Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, March the 1st, 2021. It is currently 1242 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from Victory Baptist Church located right here in Ovalo, Texas. And before we do anything else, Before I say anything else, I have to verify that everything is working correctly because we keep having some technical difficulties that I I can't quite figure out what is going on. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to what is happening, but we're we're trying to figure it all out. So before I spend, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes talking about what I want to talk about today and only to discover, hey... Things aren't sounding right. That would be very difficult. So uh, that would be very irritating. So I'm listening to our intro really quick. I'm going to see if we have this. Give me one second. We're going to verify everything is working correctly. Things aren't sounding right. That would be very difficult. So uh, that's me. All right. It sounds like everything is good. It sounds like we're on the air and everything sounds okay. I hope so. Sometimes we're getting this little static sound and we're not quite able to figure out where it's coming from or what's causing it, which is very discouraging, frustrating, because every time I turn on the mic, the last thing I want to you know, do is to have to worry about sound issues. I want to just be able to talk. And then when the program is over, I have confidence that when it's uploaded and sent to all the podcasting platforms, that it sounds perfectly okay. The last thing you want to do is spend an hour and at the end of the hour, realize you have to go delete that episode. That's uh, there's, there's a little bit of, you want to have a little bit of trust that I can just talk and not have to worry about it. But it sounds like everything is going okay right now. So we are going to continue and we're going to push forward to try to give you a little update about everything going on behind the scenes, all right? And the reason I'm doing this has a lot to do with the date. Today is March the 1st. Now, if you're not aware, tomorrow is March the 2nd. Okay, I, I hope you can figure that much out, but tomorrow, March the 2nd, well, that's Texas Independence Day, all right? You're like, what does that have to do with your podcast? Not much, but it is Texas Independence Day, but it is also my birthday, And whenever you, you know, I know a birthday is really just another day, but it marks another year, right? And it also marks another year closer. It's I'm one year closer to my last year on earth. I'm, you know, every, I mean, it's true. Every second, you're a second closer to your last day on earth. Every minute, you're a minute closer. Every hour, every day, you're a day closer. Every week, every month, every year, every year that goes by, I'm another year closer to drawing my last breath. And I am always painfully aware of time. Some could say that I have a compulsive disorder when it comes to time. And I, you know what, to be honest with you, I can't, I can't deny that. There's probably an unhealthy compulsion that I have there. I'm just so aware that, hey, that that, that minute's gone. I'm never going to get that minute back. Okay, that that hour's gone. I'm never going to get that hour back. And every day I get the end of the day and I always feel like, that I'm always chasing to get the most out of every second of every day. And I always end the day feeling like I didn't get the most out of it. And it's lost. So then I start telling myself, okay, tomorrow, you're going to do this, 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 you got this scheduled, you got this scheduled. And I get the end of that day. And I feel like, "Mm, I didn't, I didn't quite, I didn't quite get as much out of that as I wanted as, 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 as well. Every time I come here uh, to do podcasts, I, I sit down, I turn on the microphone, and I'll do an episode about this, I'll do an episode about that, I'll do an episode about this. And then when I leave, I always feel like, man, I didn't even do half the things I needed to do. I didn't even do half the things I wanted to do. What did I, what did I actually accomplish? Am I just wasting time. And and then you realize that whatever I'm trying to accomplish, I'm get I mean, I'm obviously I'm getting a year closer to not being able to do that. I'm getting a year closer until well, I'm no longer here on this earth. I mean, it's it's the idea, kind of the biblical idea that life is a vapor. It's here and it's gone. That we have to work while it's day because the night coming is coming when no man can work. I I'm very aware of limited time. And there are a lot of things I've wanted to accomplish and I don't feel like I've accomplished probably, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like I've accomplished some things, but there's a lot of things I don't feel like I have accomplished. And there's many things I don't know if I'll ever be able to accomplish, 
but I have tried whenever I've had the opportunity to turn on a microphone, I have tried so hard to try to warn the church, equip the church, challenge the church, rebuke, uh, offer different perspectives. I've, I've tried I've tried so hard to do so many uh, different things. And sometimes I feel like, you know, people get it. Sometimes I don't feel like people, I, well, I, and I, I know at times people definitely don't get what I'm trying to do. Uh, but I, all you can do is keep, keep trying, right? So um, I'm just, I've just spent, I spent a little bit of last night and a good portion of today just going, okay, you know, where, where what, what, what can we do? What, what can we do to make this podcast, you know, at least more, more effective, reach more people. What can we do? And so I just want to turn on the, uh, the microphone and just kind of give you an update about some of the things going on. And hopefully maybe this will give you some insight in what you can or, or you know, just, I'm just going to tell you what's going on and you can decide what to do with all of this information. Okay, let's start with YouTube. YouTube's been a really weird thing lately. We've, we've had a, a, a big jump in the number of people subscribing to the channel. Now, I just looked and we've already lost some people. So it doesn't take very long for people to say, you know, what? I don't want to listen to that person ever again. OK, but but we, we, we've, we've had a, a pretty good increase. We've had definitely an increase in the number of people commenting. Uh, and we've definitely had a number, uh, a definite increase in the number of people listening to us via YouTube. Again, it's such a weird place for an audio podcast but we're there, so we want to make the use of it, uh, good use of it. Now, before I told you, I can't even tell you how to find our channel because if you search for it, you can't find it. Well, that has finally changed. If you go to YouTube right now and search for VBC66, the letters V for victory, B for Baptist, C for church, VBC and the number 66, run it all together together. You'll start seeing all of our episodes. You click on one of those episodes, then you can click on the channel, and then you can subscribe to the channel if you would like. For the longest, there was no way to even, you could search and search and you could not find us. Now we can actually be found using the search bar on YouTube. Now, it's still weird that you can't search for VBC and find us. I don't even think if you search for Victory Baptist Church, I don't think, I don't know if you'll find us that way. But if you search for VBC 66, you will at least find our episodes. I think if you search sermons.vbc66, it will bring up the actual YouTube channel. It's, it's really weird. And I know a lot of people are like, well, what's going on? We have no real control over it. All right. I can't, I can't update the channel. I have no control of what I can do uh, with the channel. I've talked to one of my friends who has a big YouTube channel and he's looked at it. I give him all my logins. I mean, he's like, I don't know. That's, it's really weird the way it's set up. I'm like, I didn't set it up. Okay. So that's probably the problem. Our, our podcasting hosting site really did that. So, so it's there. If you want to use it, if you want to add comments, look, here's the thing. If you subscribe and whenever you're on YouTube, you listen to us, you add comments that possibly gets us, you know, Maybe the algorithms on YouTube will help start picking us up and, and recommending our videos and different our, our, in our videos, recommending our audio uh, on different, you know, for, where people get different recommendations. And so anything you can do to help there, that's great. YouTube, do a search for VBC 66. You'll see the, our programs. Click on one of the programs then you can click on the channel name and then you can subscribe. That would be helpful. That would be great. Um, please use it. Share it. Yeah, yeah, you can embed the audio. I think you can take the embed code and embed it on uh, your, your social media accounts and wherever. However you want to use it, it's it's just another tool. And a lot of people have discovered us that way. A lot of people have discovered us that way. Again, it's just a weird, out-of-the-box place for us to be, being an audio podcast. But we're there. And if we're going to be there, then I want to utilize it to the best of our ability forever how long we are there. Again, we have already had one strike against the channel because QAnon people got mad at us and accused us of all kinds of things. So I don't know how long we will be there, but as long as we're there, we're going to try to use it. So that's kind of the update about YouTube. I, again, it's you can find us in the search. That's I'm just, I, I don't even know, uh, it, was, it was an accident. I was actually, I thought it was, I was doing some search for our pod page on Google and it pulled up, I, I'm like, that's our YouTube channel. I'm like, wait, what's going on? So then I went to the actual uh, YouTube search bar and then typed in VBC 66 and 
I'm like, oh, there we are. That that's how, that we can now be found. So it was just a accident that I stumbled. On, you know, ultimately, I don't you know I believe God is sovereign and in God's divine providence. Okay, I won't get into all of that. From a human perspective, it was just an accident that I discovered that, but I'm glad I did. And now I want all of you to know, if you're looking for a YouTube page, please subscribe to it. If you ever use YouTube, just subscribe to it. See, tell me tell me if you get notifications. Tell me if you get notifications when I upload, when, when a new episode appears on YouTube. Let me know that. Uh, just anything you can do to look around and see what we can do to make it more useful and more beneficial. And we can, whatever we're trying to do, whether you agree, some people don't agree with what we're trying to do, but whatever I'm trying to do, I, I've got to get it out there. And YouTube is just one of the tools we're using. All right. Second kind of major update. We know about the Spotify podcasting charts, right? Um, if you don't know, Spotify has podcasting charts, and we are still attempting to get on the theology charts there. Now, it's really weird for me, and here's the reason this is all weird for me. You know, kind of a personal challenge someone gave me to create a secular podcast currently on and see what I could do. And I made it to the number one trending podcast in the United States of America talking about music and movies and whatever. And in fact, none of the episodes were really that great. None of them are really that good, but it worked. And so so I, it was kind of like a personal challenge. Can I do it? And I'm like, okay, man, I made it to the number one trending podcast in the United States of America. We were beating out giant names. Uh, we were, be, I mean, crazy. And, it, and then finally, Michelle Obama, when she launched her podcast, she knocked us down to number two. So it was crazy. We were right up there with Michelle Obama. Insane. Um, and, 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 and a lot of people ask me, well, are you going to continue that? And I, and I really haven't because there's so many other things I'm trying to do. To, to, to be successful like that means that all of my attention would be watching movies, talking about movies, watch, listening to music, talking about music, keeping up with what movies are coming out, doing this, doing that. And, and there's a part of me that would love to do more of that. But if I do... Theology Central and all of those things are going to ultimately suffer. So it would be like, do I just give up all theology podcasting and and my spare time do all of my podcasting about music, television and those kinds of things and then just, you know, just focus on preaching and putting my sermons online? I could go that route, but I just feel like there's that theology is far more important than all of those other things, obviously. So. I know, I know definitely how those charts work. I definitely know that I have the ability to get to the top of those charts doing the things that I have done. We would like to be able to make some impact on the theology charts. We really would. When you look at the theology charts, there's just crazy stuff on there. I mean, we're, we're, we're competing against the Joel Osteens, the Joyce Myers. We're competing against astrology podcast. I mean, you name it. And we would like to get there. Now, he, here's the problem. I've kind of shot myself in the foot. I've kind of hurt myself. And let me explain. And please listen to this, all right? Please listen to this. We have a podcast floating around out there called the Theological Musings. Now, Theological Musings isn't really a podcast that I do anything with. Let me, let me kind of explain what Theological Musings is. It's kind of an RSS feed catch-all. In other words, all the different podcasts I do, all of them flow into Theological Musings. They just kind of go there, Right. Now, because of that, a lot of people listen, in, listen to us via the Theological Musings podcast and don't listen to us via the Theology Central podcast or the VBC podcast or the VBC Bible Institute podcast. So when you break all of your numbers down to all of these different podcasts, you ultimately hurt yourself because you need all of those numbers to funnel into one to be able to get on the charts. So here's what I'm asking. If you use Theological Musings, Thank you so very much for listening. But if you don't mind, if you could look up Theological Theology Central and subscribe to that, VBC, subscribe to that, and the VBC Bible Institute and subscribe to that, that would be very helpful because it would then funnel all traffic to those individual podcasts 
which possibly could get one of them on the theology charts. That would be wonderful. Spotify has the charts. Apple now has the Apple podcast charts. We would like to be on both. So so that, the first thing that would be a big help, if you listen to us via Theological Musings, please just look up whatever you're using, find Theology Central, VBC, VBC Bible Institute, and subscribe to those. That would be very beneficial and very helpful. That would be that would be gigantic. It really would. It would be it would be so gigantic because all of those numbers would flow and it would be instead of splitting it up. I got some people who never listen to Theology Central. They listen to Theological Musings. Well, if all and, and many of them listen to everything I do. Well, those numbers going to Theology Central then boost Theology Central or they boost VBC or they boost, boost the VBC Bible Institute. Others have written to me to say, you should just put it all under one podcast, everything, VBC, all of it. But I don't know. You, you, I, I, I've, I've given people the opportunity to tell me what to do. It seems the audience is relatively divided. Some like, I don't care where it is. Um, others are like, no, you probably should keep them separate because the VBC, that's, you know, that's where people can go to find just your sermons. And then the other, you can talk about whatever. And, and I, and I, and I kind of wanted to do that because I didn't want, this happened on Sermon Audio. I'll give you an example of what happened on Sermon Audio. I did a podcast episode dealing with uh, something with one of the Iron Man movies. I don't remember exactly what it is, okay? And so it was, it was a podcast episode way back before they even called them podcast. And I talked about one of the Iron Man movies. Next thing you know, there were articles on the internet that read, are you ready for this? Baptist pastor preaches on Iron Man from the pulpit. Literal headline. I go read the article. I'm like, wait, they're talking about me. That, me. And I went to, and I'm like, wait, when did I, when did I do this? And I went and listened. And I'm like, wait a minute. That was from basically a podcast episode. That wasn't from a sermon. That wasn't from the pulpit. That, that was from a podcast episode. I'm like, and, and, I mean, I wasn't calling it a podcast episode because I, I don't think the word was even being used then. And I'm like, wait, no, this was a special program. But because it was on sermon audio and it was all just under the church's sermon audio page, then, then it was just viewed as a sermon. It was just viewed as a sermon. And then I was ac- uh, accused of basically using the pulpit to talk about Iron Man. And I'm like, no, it was, it was talking about popular culture and what was, how people were responding to it and some of the philosophy in it. And, and people completely misunderstood. So one of the reasons I've separated it is now the sermons go under VBC. And so it's, if people are looking up, you know, the sermons of Victory Baptist Church, they'll find my sermons and not see a subject that I'm talking about under Theology Central and go, oh, that's what that church preaches from the pulpit. I mean, I, you would think be able, people would be able to note the difference, but sadly, sadly, people don't. So that's why we broke them up. That's why we broke them up. I think that there's wisdom in doing that, but, but, the, but the negative side is it splits the numbers. If everybody was listening to the same podcast, that would increase the numbers. That would increase the numbers. Numbers are the way you get on the charts. Getting on the charts is how you get discovered. How you get discovered, more people hear what you're doing. So if you can, if you've been listening to Theological Musings, great. It's out there for people to discover. But if, you, if you're if you a faithful listener, you listen on a, a pretty frequent basis, please just unsubscribe to the, the Theological Musings and subscribe to Theology Central VBC and the VBC Bible Institute. That would be wonderful. And I would love to see those numbers go up. That would be great. Another thing you can do. Now, I know people, you listen to me all over the place, but if there can be a concerted effort to just listen like crazy on either Apple or Spotify, just go to town Download everything on Apple. Download everything on Spotify. Look, Spotify, you can, you can download Spotify for free. You don't have to subscribe to Spotify Music Service to use it as a podcast app. The podcasts are free. So uh, get it, download, download, stream, stream, stream. If we can make it to the chart, then we get visibility. Visibility gives us the ability to get, ob- I mean, look, there's no one who listens to this podcast who can't, 
agree with this idea. We offer a very unique perspective and we do things probably very different than probably maybe 95% of the Christian podcasts you listen to. But if there are Christian podcasts out there that you think are very much like mine, then by all means, tell me the ones that are, okay? Uh, Because I don't want to I don't want to misrepresent that, but I think the way I do things is radically different than most. There, and, and, there, and those are specific decisions on my part not to sound like everyone else, not to structure everything else, to, not to follow the template. There's a template in how you're supposed to do Christian podcasts. Throw that template out. I don't want the template. Because there's got to be someone who can do things differently. I don't have to do things the exact same way. My approach, even the Bible study exercises, no one's doing things like that. No one's doing things like that. So there's some things we do that are similar, obviously, because some of those other things have influenced me. But I think we do things in a very different way. And there needs to be a place for a different, there's got to be a room out there for a different sounding voice, for a different approach. And so that's what we're trying to do. So if you can just really Spotify, Apple, Spotify, Apple, just go to town. I mean, download, download, stream, 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 stream. And then you get a number of people working on that. We can get up on the chart and then people can discover us. That would be greatly beneficial. That would be great, greatly, great, greatly helpful. Yeah. Yeah, we're very different because this podcaster cannot commu- cannot speak correctly, all right? The, yeah, that's why we're different. He has a speech problem. He can't speak correctly, all right? So so there, th- those are some things. So YouTube, VBC66, find us, subscribe, leave comments, thumbs ups, whatever you can, not, we get enough thumbs down. Thumbs up, anything you can do to just create that possibility of of gaining some traction on YouTube. I know it's a really weird world, but that would be beneficial. Um, if you use theological musings, please unsubscribe and move over to Theology Central, VBC, and VBC Bible Institute. I, I that would just look. You you say, but it's convenient here. I know it's convenient, but it would be helpful to us because again, I, I I'm trying. You know, time is limited. And I don't know how long I'll be around, but whatever time I have left, I would like to be able to accomplish something. I spent a lot of hours here and I would like it to mean something. So if you can help us, that would be great. Um, Another thing, download Spotify, Apple podcast app, and just go to town and do what you can. Another thing, you know, I've stated this, this next thing, I've stated it a million times. Just leave a review, five-star rating, click those little stars on Apple podcasts and leave a review hopefully positive, even, even if negative, at least, it, hey, positive or negative, it gets, it gets conversation going. So uh, if you could do that, that would be great. And then the next thing, very important. We have two pod pages. These pod pages cost us about $15 a month a piece. All right. So you, you know, that, that each month, that's a little bit of cost. Now, I'm not asking for money. What I'm asking is, one, use those pod pages. That would be great. Visit the pod pages. If you have any suggestions about the pod pages, that would be good. But there's now a new feature on both pod pages. You can go to those pod pages, and guess what? You can leave a review right there. You can leave a five-star review right there, a rating and a review. That would be helpful. That would be great. Um, and, And the two pod pages are, you know the first one, Theology Central. Dot net. Theologycentral.net. Go to reviews. It'll say rate the show. You can you can give it a, a whatever star rating and then you can write a little review and then you submit. It shows up right there. That's so simple. All right. The other pod page. We've already got some reviews on the Theology Central pod page. And to everyone whose name shows up there, thank you a million times over. All right. But the VBC pod page, we don't have any reviews. So if you want to go there and do that, that's that's very simple. Let me t- uh, give you the address to the uh, VBC pod page. Let me pull it up here, right here, because I want to make sure I give it uh, perfectly. The VBC pod page is sermons.vbc66.org. That's sermons.vbc66.org sermons.vbc66.org. 
dot O-R-G. That's sermons dot VBC 66 dot org. And you can leave a review right there. That would be beneficial as well. Now, I think I think that's all the things I wanted to go through. So let's go through those again. YouTube, well, you can now find us via the search bar in YouTube. Amazing. I know it's taken, what, two years? But we are there. VBC 66, that's the easiest way. You'll see the episodes listed. Click on an episode. Then you can click on the channel. You can subscribe. You can leave comments. You can hit that little thumbs up. Um, You can let let us know how well the notifications work on YouTube when something is uploaded, like this one. Um, This one will be uploaded to YouTube about three minutes, about three to five minutes after I'm off the air. About three to five minutes it takes, it'll be on YouTube. Let me know if you get a notification. Well, that would be wonderful uh, to, to information to know. You know, how how visible are we on YouTube? That's all wonderful news, right? So YouTube, use that. Next, if you subscribe, if you listen to us via the Theological Musings podcast, if you could please unsubscribe and move to Theology Central, VBC or VBC Bible Institute, that would just be greatly helpful. I know it may be a little irritating to you, but it could be so helpful to us because that funnels all the numbers into those specific podcasts, which possibly will get us on the Spotify or Apple podcasting chart. And and I'm not even trying to get on the trending chart. I'm not even trying to get on the top chart. I just want to get on the theology chart. That's the only place I get because the theology chart, that demonstrates the theological kind of podcast that people are looking for, the spiritual Christian podcast that people are looking for. If we can get there, that's a chance we can get gain an audience, and that would be greatly beneficial, all right? Next, if you if you could just dedicate some time to going to Spotify or Apple Podcast and just go to town. Go crazy. Do anything and everything you can do. Just just play, download, stream, share, um, and that could be very beneficial as well. Just I just want those I want those podcasting uh, apps platforms to go. Man, there's a lot of things happening with that podcast. A lot of downloads, a lot of sharing, a lot of streaming, a, a lot of you know uh, ratings. Uh, that that's that's visibility. I mean, visibility. Visibility is the word. Without visibility, you never going to get seen. And then if you can go to our pod pages, theologycentral.net, leave a review, go to sermons.vbc66.org, leave a review, look at the pod pages, any suggestions, let us know. There's been talk, we talked about adding a third pod page, um, but we haven't, I haven't done that yet because I still don't know how successful, I still don't know how successful the two pod pages are. It's hard to kind of measure. We we do get uh, comments uh, left. We get messages sent to us from the pod pages. That's that's wonderful. Um, so we know people use them. We know people see them, but we don't get enough feedback of like, hey, I listen to you, you know, only on the pod page, or you know, uh, we don't really get uh, we don't get you know people don't send tend to contact you going hey. I was on your pod page and I like this and I like, you don't really get that kind of feedback. So you're kind of left going, it's there. Now for the price, $15 a month, it's worth having it there because hopefully people, when they're searching for something else, stumble across our pod page. It's also if people who find our pod page, it, we always like to know how you found, you know, or whoever, whenever you're listening, I love when I get those emails going, I was looking for this and I came across your episode. I was searching for this and I found you. Oh, okay good. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. People are finding us by searching for that subject. All right. May want to utilize that to my advantage, uh, but that's some of the things going on. I could, oh, we're, you know, uh, the, uh, the, us being on Pandora, that has been a massive success. Crazy how successful we've been on Pandora. Pandora at times is the number one place where people listen to us. When we got on Amazon Music, I thought, okay, no, Pandora, Pandora passes Apple, passes Spreaker, passes Spotify. I mean, I don't, I, that is so, now we have yet to receive an email from anyone on Pandora, but Pandora has become the almost the number one way people listen to us. 
So I am so grateful Pandora worked with us and got our content on there. It was a it took it was it took like six months to go through their process, but we went through their process and they got us on there. And we are, man, they I mean literally they increased, they pretty much increased our numbers. I hate to, I'll probably close to a hundred percent, if not more. That's that's how big an impact being on Pandora has had. The Edify Christian Podcast, sadly, did not boost our numbers that much. It's really frustrating. Um, it, it seems like the Edify Podcast they really push. They kind of really push. I hate to say this, they really push the Christian podcast or kind of part of the the Christian industrial complex, the big names, that's who they're going to push. And they don't seem to have any, they don't seem to have anything in their setup to really help people discover other podcasts. Like they're, they're, they don't really have a discovery feature. And, and you look at a lot of the podcast apps, a lot of the podcast apps really don't have a discovery feature there. Um, like if you, for example, if you go to a music streaming service, there's a lot of talk about discovering music. So what can they do to get more music in front of you so that you can discover new music, new artists, so that they can get listened to? The podcast side of the world, to me, there's not a lot of push on, they're going to push you towards the ones everyone already knows. They're going to push you through the podcast everyone knows. They're, they don't seem to have a way to push you to those smaller podcasts because the smaller podcast. You know, well, especially podcasts like mine, they're going to be like, well, you don't fit, you don't fit the criteria. You don't, you don't sound professional. Like it's the professional corporate kind of podcast that gets pushed. And, and so the only way discoverability here, here's the way it works. And there's been articles written about this. Your, your success as a podcaster now has nothing really to do it, well, put it put it this way. It has 90% to do with what they call super users. The one who listens to all of your episodes, they email you, they're engaged with what you're doing. They're the ones who push your content out. They're the ones who share it. They're the ones who download it. They're the ones who are going to help you get on uh, uh, one of the podcasting charts. They're the ones who are going, they're the ones who drive it. Uh, and so without a super user or users, you're you're really in trouble because uh, nothing else is designed really to help you for, there's nothing out there to help people discover you, right? There's not like, even the search uh, engines, uh, Google, whatever search engine you use, they're not really designed necessarily to lead people to podcast episodes, right? So you, you, I wish there was like a pod, because, and even if there was a pod, podcast search search engine, well, you have to get people to be on that podcast search engine searching. You you want your content to, to show up just in a normal search. That's one of the reasons we have the pod pages to try to help people through searching on Google for certain things to find us. So yeah, there's just that's just a lot of kind of behind the scenes talk that I'm always thinking about. But um, for all that you've done, I appreciate it. I am grateful. Uh, tomorrow, yes, I'm a year older. Yes, I'm a year closer to death. But I'm going to continue to do what I can to talk about the issues that I think are important, to try to challenge, to try to try to equip, to try to sometimes make you uncomfortable. But hopefully it's all beneficial. I don't know. I don't know where, what the future holds. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the next year holds. Who knows? Who who could have who could have predicted 2020 and, and the first part of 2021? Who could have predicted this? But wherever we go, whatever happens, I'm going to do my best to be right here every chance I get turning on this microphone, talking. I will hope that that effort is discovered by the people who are looking for it. Look, the people who don't like it, I'm not worried about them. I'm looking for the people who could possibly like it, who could possibly be interested, who could possibly be grateful, trying to help them find it. That's what we're looking for. And if you can be a part of that, I would I would appreciate it. And as always, I'm willing to listen to your suggestions. You may know far more than I know about all of this. Um, it's, um, But we're doing what we can, and I just wanted to take some time to do that. And I wanted to use this episode to test our audio equipment to make sure everything was good before I go into a full-blown uh, episode and then find out the audio equipment is not working. So this one served as a dual purpose. I need your help with a lot of things. 
I want you to know what's going on, but I also wanted to make sure the equipment was working perfectly before I spent an hour uh, talking about what we're going to be talking about today because we got a pretty controversial subject coming up here next. And I'll be back live on the air shortly. As always, you can email me, newsif at yahoo.com. If there's anything you want me to talk about, if there's anything you want me to study, if there's anything you want me to do, I will do it. I'm open to constructive criticism. Now, if you just say, well, you need to learn to communicate better and you're an idiot, I, I don't I really can't fix either one of those things. <laughs> I really can't. So I appreciate your 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 not constructive criticism, uh, but I, I can't fix that for you. You know, um, you could say, well, you could get rid of yourself and, and put someone else behind the microphone. I, I probably could. And that probably would be better. I just don't think you're going to find a lot of people who are going to produce 900 episodes in a year. So. That's the way I want to work things, and that's the way I'm going to continue to work things. Put it this way. You're stuck with me until I'm dead, all right, I, or until mentally I can no longer do podcasting. As long as I can, I'm going to sit in front of a microphone and talk whenever I can about all kinds of things, and hopefully it's always beneficial to someone out there. All right, so thank you for listening. I'll be back on the air shortly. God bless.